On Wednesday the 5th of July 2023, Transport Watchdogs, London Travel Watch and Transport Focus launched public consultations on behalf of rail operators across the country to consider how tickets are sold and to improve customer service. As you may have heard in the news, the closing date for this consultation has been extended. Some customers have asked for more time to understand information and then consider the feedback they may wish to make. Feedback is important to us. And so, for anyone that needs additional time to respond, the local public consultation has now been extended until Friday the 1st of September 2023. Customers who have already responded do not need to do so again. The proposal aims to better support passengers by moving colleagues out from behind traditional ticket office windows, which would close, onto station concourses where customers need them most, making them more visible and accessible. The aspiration is that colleagues would move to roles that cover a broader range of customer needs in the future from travel and fares advice to accessibility assistance, following an engagement with both colleagues and the unions. These potential plans support wider moves to modernise the railway, put customer service at its heart and would offer a more varied and interesting role for colleagues. They would also help close the significant financial gap left across the rail industry after the Covid pandemic. No final decisions have been made as the industry is currently at local public consultation stage. No stations that have staffed today will become unstaffed and station opening hours would remain the same. For a comparison of current and proposed hours when ticketing assistance would be available, please check our website. If these proposals go ahead, we would continue to provide assistance in line with our accessible travel policy commitments. The proposed changes reflect that the way customers buy tickets has changed significantly in recent years, with a reduction in ticket office use. Most tickets are now bought online or from ticket machines, which can sell the vast majority of ticket types, and e-ticket readers are fitted across the GTR network. In fact, 9 out of 10 tickets are now purchased outside of traditional ticket offices. Our colleagues have a valuable role in helping customers, which these proposals aim to enhance. In-person assistance would still be available to help customers use machines and advise on the best value for money fares. Welcoming everyone to the railway is central to all industry reforms and colleagues would continue to provide accessibility support and assistance, meeting the needs of all customers, as well as continuing to offer travel advice and to support the safety and security of our stations, for example by being a presence to deter antisocial behaviour. Following the extension, you now have until Friday the 1st of September 2023 to have your say. To see what is proposed at your station, please check our website. As this public consultation is being carried out by Transport Focus and London Travel Watch, GTR, Southern, Thameslink, Great Northern and Gatwick Express cannot take your feedback directly. The only way to ensure your response is accepted is to complete the consultation by emailing or writing to Transport Focus or London Travel Watch. Go to our website to find out which watchdog to contact about your local station. You can also find out more about the consultation and having your say by visiting transportfocus.org.uk and londontravelwatch.org.uk. Unfortunately, if you do not submit via the main consultation, your response will not be considered. We cannot pass on feedback on your behalf. Printed copies of the information about this consultation can be obtained on request at your station. If you require an alternative format, then please call 0345 026 4700 or text phone 0800 138 1018. Please note, some of these materials will refer to the original closure date of Wednesday the 26th of July. Please ignore this reference 
The closure date is now Friday the 1st of September 2023.